hello good afternoon um in case you don't know me i am rafael chimeze wonkuru and right now i am in nairobi kenya in this video i would like to encourage my fellow nigerians about the upcoming election over the years i have been following the politics in nigeria and i am well versed in what is going on in the country but I want to use this medium to really encourage us about the great event coming up in less than a week. So uh, I want to encourage you, the youth, Mama, Papa, Pekin. Take this opportunity to choose a good leader that will take us to the height that we dream of. Make sure you get your PVC. I know the time has gone, but make sure if you have your PVC, you go ahead and vote for your preferred candidates. If you do this, you are, you are, you are assisting us who are in the diaspora to choose a better leader. Right now, I have my preferred candidates, but I cannot vote. So I want you who are in Nigeria, those who are in Nigeria to do the voting on our behalf. Choose the right candidate. Choose somebody that will make life easier for us. Right now, see, like paying school fees is just so difficult because we have to convert our money back to dollar and you know the, the rate of dollar in the black market. We can't get this dollar. So it is really difficult. Life is really difficult for us paying our school fees. So, if you choose the right leader, you are actually helping us. Don't choose based on tribalism. Don't choose based on religion. Choose the man who is competent, a man who has character, a man who is incorruptible. Please, this is an appeal video. I'm not trying to mention a name so that I want everybody to get involved in this project i have my voters card this is my voters card i got my voters card and i have voted in 2011 i have voted in 2015 but in 2015 i left home now i have not enjoyed the dem uh, dividends of democracy in nigeria the whole buarism that happened i was not in nigeria to witness it <laughs> but it affected me still as a foreigner in Kenya. So, please, take this opportunity to vote for the right leader. If there is a way I can give somebody my, my voter's card to vote on my behalf, I would have done that. But you know this, this uh, Beavers machine, it makes use of the fingerprint. So this thing is actually useless as it is in my hand now, but yours is more useful. So, if you have yours, vote for me vote for me this is my own but i'm asking you to vote for me i wish to vote but i cannot vote you that you are there don't take that time playing football don't take that time running around the street don't take that time playing cards at home or discussing go out and vote and vote the right candidates you can't fold your hands and say ah no i will vote for jesus christ ah no um, um we know how they used to do it no don't sit back this year Go into the field, vote, and make sure your vote counts. Make sure your vote counts. I beg you. If I were to vote, I have followed the whole campaign every day. I, if you ask me anything about the politics in Nigeria, I have it on my fingertips. But I can't vote. But you, do, you, you are in Nigeria, make sure you vote. Vote. Vote the right candidates. Otherwise, it's another four years of, hmm, another four years of, you know how it was, you know how it was. Just last year, the whole students were on strike for eight months. You see, let me tell you something, within that eight months, that is one full um, academic year in universities here in Nairobi. I achieved a lot within that eight months, but you were at home. Do you want that to continue? I'm sure your answer is no. Now, imagine four years. Within that eight months, there was first scarcity. 
Look at this time around. Naira scarcity. Steve West scarcity. There was answers within that four years. We don't want things to continue like this. We need a president that can address the nation. We need a president that... A president that is, you know, present. Present. We don't want the presidency says. Every time we keep hearing, the presidency says, the presidency says. We need a president that is present in the office, that is alive. There was flood in Bayesa, in many parts, in Benue. How many places did Buari go to? We need somebody that is agile to be able to visit areas that have been affected by natural disasters or by calamities or by sec um, security bridging. We need somebody that can do this. We don't want a sick person in that seat. We want somebody that is alive to the challenges we are facing in Nigeria. And I beg you, to go out there and vote for that candidate. Well, we have 18 political parties that are contesting for this post. So what is there? Very young and strong. Atiku is there. Very young. Okay, not young, as in strong and able, experienced. Tinubu is there. And there's one other guy, Peter will be very young, strong, agile, eloquent. Please go there. Do the right thing. Don't sit at home on that day. That is my main advice. Don't sit at home. I want you to make this my voter's card that I have with me to have value. You have to do the voting for me. Do that voting for me, please. I can't vote because I'm in Kenya. I'm in diaspora. There is no diaspora voting in Nigeria. But you that you are in Nigeria, go out there and vote. One love, Nigeria. If I was in Nigeria, I would go and vote. I would encourage more people to vote. But right now, I'm not there. And I'm appealing to you. Be my hand. Be my legs. And make the choice for me. Thank you.